I am going to be doing my bookmark for chapter 44. And I'm going to start my bookmark with this paragraph on page 226. Despero slumped against the spool of thread, and as he leaned there, his heart pounding, his paws shaking, a small wonderful something occurred. A midnight breeze entered the kitchen and danced over to the stove and picked up the scent of the soup and then swirled across the floor and delivered the smell right directly to the mouse's nose. Now I'm also going to add some parts of this paragraph, Despero put his head up in the air. He sniffed, he sniffed some more. He had never in his life smelled anything so lovely, so inspiring. With each sniff he took, he felt himself growing stronger, braver. Cook leaned in close to the kettle and put the spoon and took the spoon out and blew upon the spoon and then brought it to her lips and sipped and swallowed. I'm gonna add parts of all that, but I'm not gonna write all of that down, obviously, for my text. So for, remember, for every bookmark, you need to have three parts. You need to tell me what you're doing and where. You need to give me some text to let me know specifically where. And then you need to describe what part you are using. So for example, today I'm using my visualization, so I'm gonna give you all of my senses, right? So here is my bookmark. Um, first things first, I am going to write my name, my date, and make sure I have that. So my name is Mr. Pete. Today's date is December 6th, 2018. The title of the book, The Tale of Despero, D-E-S-P-E-R-E-A-U-X. The author is Kate DiCamillo, D I. I'm just going to make sure I'm spelling it right. C-A-M-I-L-L-O. And genre is fantasy. All right, and I am going to be picking my visualization today, which has a code of V. So I'm going to go ahead and write V up here. Again, today's date is 12 6 18, and I'm gonna be working on pages 226 and 227. Okay. So, today, I'm writing a visualization. There's my declarative statement. Let's double check and make sure I spelled visualize right. I did. Notice it's easy to read. I'm not writing super small. So today I'm writing a visualization on page 226. And 227, it says, quotes, notice my quotes because I'm pulling it right out of the book. Despero slumped against the spool of thread. As he leaned there and as he leaned there and this is exactly how it's written and it's all spelled correctly because it's right in front of me his heart pounding his Pause, shaking,
a small wonderful thing occurred. Now, I don't really need that, so I'm gonna dot it. Those are ellipses, and I'm going right to a midnight breeze. So it's okay that I skip a little bit. All those ellipses let me know is that there's words there that I don't need, and I'm moving to a midnight breeze. And again, it's really important that I get this text because I then know you're using the right words and you're using the right part of the book. The midnight breeze, something I can feel, entered the kitchen. And here's the great personification that gives us our visualization and danced over to the stove and picked up the scent smell of the soup and then swirled across the floor and delivered the smell right directly to the mouse's nose. Now, I want to make sure I have three senses, okay? So I know I've got right away, I've got um, feel, heart pounding, pause shaking, okay? I've got smell, a midnight, I've got feel here with the midnight breeze. I've got smell, scent of the soup and swirled across the floor and delivered to the mouse's nose. Okay, and I've got see, because I can see the mouse shaking, okay? Now, um, I could add more, like I said. Uh, we, he does talk more about it smelling um, sweetly, it talks about the um, taste. So I'm gonna add the taste. So watch this, I'm gonna dot, dot, dot because it's not next, but in that next paragraph, it says, it's actually two paragraphs away, and then, so, cook, then, brought it to her lips and swip, sipped and swallowed. And there are all my senses that I need. So to get a three, I just need to mention um, my three. Uh, so, and I'm gonna put a quotation mark there. So remember, it doesn't have to be all in order, but it does have to be in that same general area. And I think the whole point KT Camilla was doing was this beautiful scene where the mouse smelled the soup for the first time in years and years and years, okay? So that's part one. Part one is this section. Part two is this section. And now I'm getting to part three. And you can see I need more space. Um, so I'm gonna say my visualization is, and this lets me know that, and I'm actually sorry that I did that. So I'm gonna erase it. I want it to all fit on one line so it's easy to read. My visualization is that I can taste. Now, I could just say the soup, but I'm going to use a good describing word. The flavorful soup. 
soup as it touches my lips. So notice, now I'm running out of space. I'm just gonna move right over. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna make a little arrow. And I'm gonna come up here. I'm just gonna cross this out as it touches my lips. So notice that I'm not writing it as though I'm the chef or I'm, as I'm the mouse. I'm writing it as though it's me because the author is painting that picture for us as it touches my lips. I smell. And then I'm gonna come down here and what she is soup swirled across the floor and delivered directly to the mouse's nose. Um, I smell the dancing I smell the dancing f flavors. I smell the dancing um, aroma, which is another word for smell. That's a place you could use your thesaurus. Dancing aroma of the soup. As it travels across the kitchen. I feel my heart pounding. As Despro stands ready to get caught in the kitchen. Okay, and there's my three. Now, it took a long time, but really a lot of it was the text, making sure that I had enough text so that I could give you my three senses. And again, if you wanna step it up to the next level, you can give me, you know, you have to give me at least three senses, but you can give me, like I can easily give you sight here. I see the cook um, taking that spoon up to her mouth. I could um, do feel, as I mentioned before, I can, feel my paws shaking as I worried that um, the, sh the cook was going to catch me, that kind of thing, okay? So it's okay if you use two, and you can see all of my detail in my one, two, and three parts, okay? So there's a visualization. I'll have another one up for you tomorrow.